a joy to be able to introduce you to the person that's going to deliver our challenge today, Dr. Charles Johnson, who serves as the pastor of Bread Fellowship of Fort Worth, as a thought leader, someone who God has ordained and anointed for this time. And so take a listen, uh, take a look and, and hear uh, what God has for you today from Dr. Johnson. Education is a gift from Almighty God to all our children. We determined in this country a long time ago that every child deserves a quality education. As a matter of fact, one of the founding fathers of our nation, John Adams, said in the 1780s, I believe it was 1784, let there be not one square mile without a school in it. Not paid for by the generosity of a charitable individual, but by the public for the public, at the public's expense, by the public, for the public, at the public's expense. Now we've heard today the wonderful insight and wisdom that all forms of education are great and God uses home schools and private schools and charter schools and public schools. Charter schools are part of our public school system. We love all of those expressions because education is inherently and intrinsically spiritual. It is God's will. It is shaping and mentoring and directing a child. Now, of course, that is principally the responsibility of parents. Parents have the God-given responsibility, as the Scripture says, to train up a child in the way he should go so that when he is old, he will not depart from it. But, of course, our teachers play a role in that also. And so the whole community wraps its arms around our children. That is what uh, education as a public trust is all about. It is part of God's common good. We all put our money into a community chest in a fair way, in an equitable way. Everybody has a stake through our property taxes, sometimes through our income taxes, but through our tax system and structure. Everybody has an investment now. There are some voices in our society that want to compromise that investment because education is a delayed return on investment. It takes 18, 19, 20 years to get that return on investment. Education is expensive. But if you think education is expensive, try the alternative. Do we want to be like a third world country where some of our children are educated and the great majority are not? No. That is the reason we have this program today. And these professionals and these experts are underscoring and endorsing the incredible importance of education. We have school choice in our public school system. These experts have told us today, for a parent or a family that feels a charter school is the best alternative for their child, Wonderful. That is school choice. We have intra-district school choice for those families that are able to privately educate their children. That is that option, that choice. But we all have a responsibility for the education of all our children. My children are grown. You can tell from my gray hair. But I still have the responsibility to educate my neighbor's children. It is God's common good. It is our public trust and the future of our democracy, the stability of our republic, God's generosity and generativity that comes through our free enterprise system is predicated on the educational development of every single child. Every human being deserves that opportunity to be self-actualized, to realize the potential that God has given every single person. And that is what education does. That classroom teacher, whether a private school or a public school, charter school, that classroom teacher is doing God's work. So church, let's wrap our arms around that teacher. Let's come alongside that principal, pastors. Call up that principal. Go to the school nearest your church and ask that principal, how can we help? No more powerful question than that. 
and when the church of Jesus Christ gets mobilized and gets inspired and empowered to take responsibility for the education of all our children, we will have the educational performance that the United States America of America's kids deserve.